Zero Calm. On my blog, I share sewing, craft ideas, and tutorials. Today, I'm making a tea towel apron using my kit from Craft Noom. The kit contains templates, tea towel, three pieces of fabric, interfacing, two pieces of sashing fabric, lace trim, rick rack, pom pom trim. You will need scissors to cut template, scissors to cut fabric, measuring tool, marking tool, as well as sewing machine and iron. Now we are going to fuse the interfacing for both saucers and handles. Lay the interfacing rough side up. Place the fabric wrong side down on the interfacing. Use a hot iron without steam. Press instead of sliding the iron. Cut and set aside. To know how much fabric needs to be fused for the handles and saucers, place the fabric on the template and fold the fabric, revealing the handle and make a crease. Line the crease with the edge of the interfacing. Press with the iron. Now do the rest in the same manner. Cut out all the templates, but you want to make sure which one belongs to which fabric. Trace the template on the wrong side of the fabric. For the pocket, the template already includes quarter-inch seam allowance. Then cut. When you are tracing and cutting the handles, make sure that both handles are symmetrical and facing outwards. Now you have everything you need to make cups and saucers. Sew all around the edges of the cups with zigzag stitches to prevent fraying. With the largest stitch setting on your machine, sew the bottom half of the cup about 1 8 inch in and pull one thread of the large stitches to gather the fabric to make nicely curved corners. Fold quarter inch seam on both sides and bottom of the cup. Press with the iron. Once you are done pressing with iron, open up the side seams and fold half inch from the top edge of the pocket and sew. Pin the upper edge of the lace to the sewn line and sew the lace on. Pull the sides back in place. To find the placement for the cups, fold the towel in half to find the center. Measure three and a half inches from the center 5 inch from the top and mark two small dots on the left and right side of the center. Match top corner of the cup with this dot and pin the cup onto the towel. Slide in the saucer halfway under the bottom of the cup and pin. Also, pin the handle to the side of the cup. After you have repeated the process for the other cup, this is how they should look. Now they are ready to be sewn. First, lift up the bottom half of the cup and sew around the saucers with small zigzag stitches. Do the same for the handles. Use regular straight stitches for the cups. Sew the sides and the bottom. Sew the 3-inch sashing fabric together. 
Open the seam and press with iron. Fold half inch on both ends and press with the iron. Fold the strip in half lengthwise and press with the iron. Open it up. Bring the edges to the folded center line. Press with the iron. Fold the sashing in half to find center. Match the middle of the towel with the middle of the sashing. Sandwich the top edge of the towel in the folded sash and pin. Now that it's all pinned, so from end to end. When you are laying out pom-poms, overhang by half inch. Snip off the pom-pom at the end. And wrap around the apron and pin. Pin the trim to the apron, then do the same for the other end. It will be easier to use a zipper foot when sewing on the pom-poms. Pin the rig rack in place a little bit above the pom-pom trim and sew in a straight line down the middle of the rig rack. Here is the finished apron. Now it is ready to be worn. You can tie it in the back or you can tie it in front. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.